Hey everybody, Syntax77 here, back for another edition of Watch Sarah Open a Box. Drink wine! Of random backpacking gear. <laughs> otherwise known as part two of our nomadic series. Now if you're not familiar with what that is, you're pretty much gonna figure it out as we go, or you can watch part one where I pretty much break it down. But pretty much, I like to say pretty much a lot. Pretty much. Yes, pretty much. Pretty it, much. It's a, pretty a, much. a subscription pretty much. service. Pretty much. Where? <coughs> Syntax 77 is pretty much sick. I'm getting ill. Uh, you're gonna, I'm getting ill. You're going to have to carry most of the weight on this video, by the way. That won't but happen. But anyway, you get a cool box every month, and it has some sort of theme, and there's like three to four, maybe five backpacking, or I should say outdoors-related items. Um, so pretty we're going to open it up. I don't know what the theme is. I don't know what's inside. We're just gonna have fun and um, see if this brings up some topics to talk about. My gentleman's knife here. Open this up properly. Where's your hatchet? I don't have the hatchet this time. I learned the hard way that that's not the right thing to use. It's always the right thing to use. All right, Sarah. Christmas morning! No, you had it the wrong Oh, God. <laughs> Look. Oh, you can make it glow. Okay. Or burst into flames. Okay. Or have like a cannon hit it and then bam. Oh. All right, here we go. Now that Sarah's shook it up, let's see I what did. we got. Sorry, you got some of these do do diddles. Yes. All right, wait. Where's the card? Our theme. Hello. Here oh, we go. I found it. Hi, Clogger. Hi. Whoa. Sorry. Excuse me. Sorry, I didn't realize it was a theme. I was just reading what I saw. Go. Hike longer. Mm -hmm. Go. Further. <gasps> Hike longer, go further. All right, so this is gonna be about uh, doing miles on the trail, maybe staying healthy, hydrated, stuff like that. I don't know. What do we got? What items? So, oh dear. I really like tip number four. I'm just gonna skip right to the good shit. Oh, they got tips oh, too. Keep that out. Yeah. Number four, it may be TMI for some folks. I can never say folks right. It's folks. <laughs> Folks. Folks. The people. Folks. Right. But the color of your urine is a great way to gauge your hydration level. It should always be pale yellow in color. So just in case you didn't know, you could get this box and know what your urine should look like. What a perfect endorsement of Nomadic. I'm sure they really appreciate it. By the way, use the code SYNTAX10 if you want 10% off and you too could get urine tips like that. <laughs> you could get you could, you could make sure that your urine is pale yellow if you use that code. You know, I would say this is an inappropriate conversation, but they put it in, put there, it in there. So they obviously want me to talk about it. That's I'm fine. I'm trying to touch my stuff. All right, I'm sorry. All right, what do we have here? Should we go in order? Mazama Designs Black... I can't read. Mazama. Hydration. Oh. Mazama Designs Backflip 2 Liter Hydration Reservoir. So this is a reservoir to keep you hydrated. I this have... is where you can put your urine and see what color it is. No, 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 no. This is where you put the water that keeps your urine the correct color. Or that. It's called a water bladder. <laughs> or a Foley calf. So anyway, uh, <laughs> we, I brought this subject up plenty of times on this channel. Urine. I typically use, no, hydration bladders. I, t I typically use uh, just a water bottle because I like to go ultralight. I'm a little more concerned with my pack weight and my pack's so light that I take it off pretty easily. However, if you have a heavier pack or a problem with hydration, meaning that you tend to neglect hydrating. This is long. Most packs have a slot in the back interior where you can slide um, hydration bladder and then another spot where the tube can come out. You guys let me know in the comment section below. You prefer bladders like this or water bottles. Speaking of which, one of the bottles. reasons that I um, got away from using these I know you don't have wine this time. I do. Uh, how I'm much? Gonna put it, I'm gonna put it. In. How much does it weigh? Um, does it say? Because this actually feels pretty light. The one I used to have was an Osprey, and I got it right when I first started backpacking. So I wasn't thinking about weight at all. I was thinking more about convenience, and it was nice. At least I thought it was at the time, and it's still good. But it was nice and rigid, so like it held its shape when you filled it. That was the whole selling point for that Osprey. I forget what it's called, the Hydro Pack or something. Problem is, it had a big old board to keep it secure like that, and it was super heavy. I think it was over a half pound empty. This feels a lot less than a half pound. It doesn't have the weight. All right, that's fine. 
This has an easy to fill flip cap with a push button release and a lock switch to ensure leak free performance of your bladder. That's oh. always important. You don't want your bladder to leak. Uh uh. You really don't, especially yeah. when it's in. Well, no, no, no. Huh. Not that bladder. You don't want either bladder to leak. <laughs> but uh, Mike had a camelback years ago, my friend Mike, and it leaked inside his pack all over his gear. So you want a nice, reliable one. So this is made in the US of A. Get them. The film is taste free, so your water won't taste like plastic because who likes to eat plastic? BPA besides free. Besides Denali. PVC free. Included is a quick connect exit port for the drink tube oh, I see and that. high flow bite valve with magnetic retainer. I did have that on my Osprey, I liked it. Retainer. So it goes on your sternum strap and then. You gotta put it lower. Goes on your sternum strap. And... <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so that's that. And the little bite valve, bite down and the water comes out. Okay, so this flips back, like you said. Oh, I see. So on the side, there's a little slide lock. So I have to push that over and elbow my wife in the face. And now this should, right? And then open it. Did you lock it? It's locked now. Uh oh, I locked it. Oh. oh. Yeah, okay, you gotta press the. Press the button in after you unlock it. All right, good. Now I can fill it up, slide it back in your backpack, and you're good to go with the hydration pouch. Stay hydrated, it is important. Do, 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 do. Boom, boom. Thank you. <laughs> Hold on one second. I went to get a scale. We're gonna find out how much it weighs right now. Maybe you can just go to their website. Six and a half ounces. Now you know. Well, we, they can also then check the website and see if you were right. <sighs> Bring me my box. So hydration, that is important, whether you're using bottles or bladders. But now, we got a lighter weight bladder. So, Tech New Original Poison Oak and Ivy Skin Cleanser. Whoa now. Oh, it removes poison oak and ivy oils that causes rash and itching on pets, clothes, Skin, tools, skunk, and sap. Cool. Skunk? Skunk. Wow. Even the slightest contact with poison ivy and oak sumac will ruin your day. Won't be great. I'm not sure it won't be great. When you're least expecting it. Within minutes of applying this, it'll remove the ur, the ursher oil, I'm pretty sure is what they're saying there. The what? The ursher oil. What is it spelled? Ursher. Okay. Oil, allowing your skin to heal. It also prevents spreading. Tech new can be applied to clothing, shoes, tools, etc., to avoid secondary contact since Ursher oil does not evaporate. All right. So there have been times, luckily it was false alarms, where I thought that I like grabbed directly onto like poison oak or something and had to just scramble to use all I had, which was. Squirrels. No, what? No, hand sanitizer. Oh. But that would does that work? This would be good plus taking off tree sap. Now, obviously, wouldn't take this whole bottle with you. Would you? Would, I mean, I would. You would. <laughs> and then you would carry it. You probably don't need to do this. <laughs> this will last you many, many trips, I'm sure. Uh, let me know out there if anybody's used anything like this, either this product or another one. I'd be interested. It's not something I've thought of in a little bit, but that's nice. But anyway, I would take the little like 10 milliliter bottles that I get them from Dutchware. You can get them probably from like a scientific place. How much do you need to use? Probably not a lot. You don't think? I would put it in some sort of travel container and just have my own little, you know, enough for the trip. Within eight hours of exposure, so that's Oh, good. so you got time. Well, that's good too. But obviously, I'm sure probably the sooner the better. So on a day hike and stuff, you could just keep this in your vehicle. And then if you get, if you're out on a day hike and something happens, you can go back and just squirt some on. But for backpacking, I would just put it in some sort of smaller travel bottle. A few more hydration tips on here. Listen to your body. But my body! If you notice you haven't peed for a few days. Oh, you're dehydrated. <laughs> what else do we have in here? No, so patches. What is that? These patch are kit? DIY patch and stencil kit. So you could like Syntax 7 cheeseburger time all over this bad boy. How do you make stencils with well, it? Well, I'm gonna tell you. Thank you. This is made from nylon. Oh. This do it yourself kit, also known as DIY. Designed in Jackson Hole. Made in America. Sorry, keep going. Um, lets you cut your own patches to your own specifications based on your needs. It is 100% waterproof and nothing gets through the adhesive and it's guaranteed to be up to 50 washes and dry cycles. Wow. That's cool. 
one piece and then you can get as many uses as you want. So you would use the whole piece, I guess, if you got a really severe tear in like a tent or a tarp or something. But otherwise, like, you know, Mike, actually the trick we just did, his down jacket got torn. He could have probably used this, right? Oh, so I was thinking that this was like for like a fun design. Well, you could still make fun designs. Yeah, you can cut it into a design and then See, stick I it on. I only thought that it was for like the fashionista. Well, yeah, you could world, do that. But you're actually saying this is used to repair things. Yes. I would just have designs all over my Just like stars and just, happy faces. Mm -hmm, unicorns. Which is fine too. Maybe you could do both. If you rip your jacket, you could make a fun design to repair it. No. Okay. Well, that's that. Once again, anybody have a favorite emergency patch kit that they carry? Maybe a particular brand. I have never heard of this one, so we're going to have to try it out. I like them. No So Patch Dazzle. All right. See, they make it sound like it should be like a bedazzling kit. I want to like kind of is make things. Moving on. All right, Scratch Labs hydration mix. What is Ooh. that? There's two of them. Oh, it's like the Gatorade uh, stuff. Oh, okay. Designed um to replace the electrolytes lost in your sweat. This hydration mix can be used for prehydration and during or after your activities. Cool. Drinking water doesn't replace electrolytes and too much water will dilute your blood sodium level. So much science going on right now, which causes fatigue. Who likes fatigue? Learning all about fatigue and hydration today. Mally's very fatigued. He's tired. I don't even think he's in frame anymore, but that's um, okay. We'll let him rest. He might be dehydrated. He might be. Drink this anytime. Don't say that. People are going to think. <laughs> we are not abusing the dog. He gets plenty of water <laughs> when he behaves. Drink this anytime you're sweating and you'll be good to go. There you go. Do you have to use this whole thing? Uh, this is good for 16 ounces of water. Uh, I was going to say, that's a lot of powder. So that's a lot of pow. Half a liter. So two of these would do a Nalgene. Or I imagine it's probably one of those things like, I've had things like this before, um, electrolyte type things. Yeah, it flavors 16 ounces, but it doesn't taste bad if you water it down. So I would put it in like a whole liter and just kind of slowly take it in and <laughs> as I hiked. Sweat, baby, sweat, baby. <laughs> this is another copyright violation. All right, last but not least. Yes. Our Expo. I know this. No, you don't. Yeah, our friends Joe and Marcy have these. Do they? Yes, they like oh, them. Oh, Joe and She's Marcy. She's vegetarian. Whole Foods protein bar. No BS. I like that they have that. What's it made of? So it's made, I'm going to tell you. Oh, thank you. There's no surprises here. Wondering what's inside the bar? All the ingredients are big and bold and on the front. Yes. This is a no BS piece of bar. Piece of bar, three egg whites, six almonds, four cashews, two dates, no BS. I like that. That's pretty cool. I have heard of these guys before, so all new products for me, except for that, which is tried and true. That covers nomadic box oh, unboxing chocolate sea salt yes That's episode awesome. two Get goes it? up yeah. to 90. anyway see, i think see that, in, people i think that covers You're it in for the long haul feel free to share your own tips and thoughts on hydration I'm try and this staying out from the couch. healthy on the trail i'll put some wine in this bad boy <sighs> and this will be stained red next and time I'm it shows up in the video it from the ceiling and just just gerbil it yeah, there's a lot of different things you could do with it i guess it doesn't have to go in a backpack Till next time, I'm Syntax77. You have fun out there. <laughs>